Hi guys, Greg Narayan here from DearBlogger.org and a special hello to the Hong Kiet community. You guys rock. What I'm going to show you today is how to put an About Me section in your sidebar using a bit of an unconventional but very simple method. Sometimes the most simple tricks in blogging are the ones that go the furthest. Alright, so the simplicity of this comes from the fact that we're using the new post editor in WordPress. We're going to start out like we'd write any normal blog post, but our purpose is different. Then we're going to take what we, what we create and put it into a text widget and then throw it in our sidebar. Let's look at an example. On Neil Sprout's blog, Quick Sprout, he has a great About Me section that puts his face in front of you while you read his content, talks about his work, and directs you to his About Me page. It's a way of saying hello to your readers with a visual, even if they don't make it to your actual About Me page. This is crucial. So, we need an image. Grab it from your gallery, make it something kind of clever and interesting, not just any standard old picture of you. Alright, so here we are in the HTML section. Now we're going to do some writing. Start off with a question. Put some text below the image. Answer blogging questions. Now write up something like find out more here, or learn more here, or just discover more. I find that here works well. We're going to link that to our actual about me page. Link it. Now, style it. Go back to your visual, center your text. So anything you do here in the post editor will show up exactly how it looks here in your blog sidebar. That's why the post editor is so great for adding blog features. Make the color green. Also, WordPress created this code for us right when we centered. Save some time. Let's make that 22 pixels, and we'll make the font family Georgia. Georgia. All right, close off that section code. Sorry about the noise in the background. There seems to be a party right outside this door. Okay. Now, anything that this code surrounds, all of it will be reflected. So we're going to make this non-green. And we're going to make it a bit smaller. Then we should be good to go. Oh, and the image needs to be sized. Let's make it exactly 50% of its original size. And we can take our image and link it to the page too by changing the ahref. This is a great technique for when you add Facebook and Twitter sections or buttons rather to your blog sidebar and you want people to click them. This is what we created. Now let's put it in our in our sidebar. Grab a new text widget. You can see how most of my widgets are text. That's because I like customizability and I like things to look exactly how I want. I don't like adhering to WordPress preloaded features like borders and text styles. Alright, so here is my blog without the About Me section. And here you have it. Isn't that pretty? So FYI, all of these sections are simple text widgets. So text widgets are great for adding other things like a subscribe feature, a Twitter button, a bit of, you know, hype for your blog, anything you want. You can also use them to create create sections for your header, possibly below your post, whatever you want. I actually did all these in a simple text widget. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Go read another article.